Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today we're actually going to be starting a series. Now, this isn't something I've actually ever done in Sprocket before, but today we are going to be starting the Frantic Tank Company. Now, if you guys don't know what this is going to be, essentially we're going to be building tanks for each scenario. So there's going to be two for this first scenario for World War One. There is going to be two for the Interwar one, and in fact, actually, there might be two for every single one. I'm going to go with a light tank and probably a heavy tank for each of them. So let's go ahead and start off by building a light tank for World War I. Alright, so I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go because I don't want it to really look like any other World War I tank. Now, it's going to get harder as we go through because tanks generally just start looking like each other a little bit uh, as you go. So what we're going to start off with is obviously a freeform hull. There we go. We're going to go to Mobility, we're going to go to Fenders, and we're going to get rid of those. Now, I'm going to take some inspiration from, like, World War I tractors. So, like, 1910s tractors. Um, it's going to be kind of interesting. I don't know how this is going to go. Uh, but essentially, we need a relatively big idler wheel. We need a relatively big sprocket. And that's it. <laughs> so, let's do this. We'll start with the idler wheel first. There we go, quite large, just like this. We'll then do the sprocket, again, quite large. I think we'll make them the same size, actually, 0.85. There we go. And then we need some relatively large wheels in the center. So, yeah, this is kind of an interesting way of doing things, but I'm thinking we actually go with... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just go ahead and try and space these guys out, but also make them bigger. So something like this. Yeah, that doesn't actually look terrible. So, if we go to the idler wheel, we're going to have that one. If we go to the road wheels, we're going to have these ones. There we go. And the return rollers are also going to look like that too. Alright, fantastic. So far, this actually looks pretty good. Let's go to the track segments. We'll have these, because this is the World War One looking one. And we're going to make them quite thick. They are going to be very thick, actually. So, we're going to go with like 100. Bam. There we go. The length of these guys is going to be more like 200. And that looks good to me. So yeah, this looks like a bit of a tractor, which is pretty much exactly what I want. Lovely. Okay, so what I've done is I've popped these guys through here, because I think it looks better that way, with them actually on the outside of this. Um, with that being said though, actually, let's just go ahead and put all of them on the inside. So, the return rollers, yes. Let's go ahead and space them back in. There we go, good. Let's go to the road wheels. The width of those is going to go to the interior of there as well. And then the idler is also going to go to the inside of that too. It looks a little bit strange doing it this way, but I don't mind it really. I don't mind that. But yeah, as I said, I was thinking maybe like a tractor would actually look really cool. Uh, I don't know how we're going to armor this thing up. I think we might make it an open top tank, which honestly might be very, very, very weird. Considering most of the stuff that you actually have to deal with in World War One is actually just, you know, normal rounds from normal guns. But um, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to lower this down quite a distance. There we go. We're going to push this in, and then we're going to extend it just like so. Extend it out to the sides. And I'm going to split it right here. There we go. So we can now extend this guy, this guy, this guy, and these guys upwards. Extend. There we go. Awesome. Let's do this. We're then going to try and figure out how to, I don't know, <laughs> how to make this guy and this guy go inwards. But I think we might actually have to do all of them inwards. Which is so weird. But there you go. We're then going to extend this guy upwards. I think. Actually, you know what? It might be easier if we just extend it. There we go. And then we can actually just bring it inwards using these guys. Like this. There you go. So it's still looking like a tractor. There you go. It is definitely still looking like a tractor. Um, yeah. This is maybe going to work. Alright, so let's try and make it look uh, a little bit more armoured, or like it can be armoured on the front end. So we're going to actually send those guys like that. I'm going to send this guy backwards like this, just so that we don't have as many flat areas, obviously. So let's go ahead and do these. There we go. Let's do this backwards even further. And we'll actually do these guys for the forwards. And then that means this guy has to go backwards a little bit. But that's okay. There we go. So it's looking a lot like a farm tractor. Excellent. Alright, so we got to figure out where the driver and stuff like that are actually going to go. I'm thinking we extend this guy backwards like so. 
We then make some sort of like, I don't know, windshield type dealio out of this. Not that I know how that's going to look, but <laughs> yeah. So let's go and extend these guys upwards like this. And then bring them inwards a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that's actually really cool. We'll have the driver and everybody else actually sit sort of behind this. So extend that bit upwards. And we'll add the driver's view to there. So if we go to crew, we go to viewports. We can have one of these guys. It has to be quite small. Go right about there. And that's it. So now we can drive. I wish we could have the people. I mean, I've seen people do people, <laughs> if that makes sense, um, on the Sprocket Discord. But no, we're, we're not going to have people on ours. This is still cool. Alright, so a bunch of you guys might be like, well, where is the gun gonna go? So unfortunately for me, <laughs> uh, very much unfortunately for me, I actually want to put the gun in the center of this thing. And I want it to just be on a stand. Now, that means that we are gonna go over the, uh, the space limitations because of the way that I'm gonna build the gun. But it doesn't really take into account how much, uh, like, where it's going to go. So I, I don't know how to explain this, but I might actually put the gun here. Mount it on the top of this thing. That might be a good idea. So let's go to compartments. Let's go to this guy. We'll actually just go ahead and shove it there. We'll make this as small as possible. We will select all of these, and I'm going to go ahead and shrink them all down. There we go. So that's all shrunk. This is all shrunk. And we're going to go ahead and push this guy down as well, just like this. Okay, fantastic. We're then going to try and put this into a nice little location. So we're going to push it forwards. We're then going to lower it down a little bit more. Yeah, okay, cool. And the gun is just going to sit on there. I know this is really, really weird and probably kind of bad. But let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Um, we'll obviously add the gun to the front of this. It's not going to be a very big gun. So that's worth saying. But um, yeah, I'm not sure what to do here. Let's extend this guy upwards a little bit. And we'll actually shrink it together. There we go, on the top. And lower it down a little bit. Nice! Yeah, okay, cool. So, let's go to firepower. Yes, go to mantlets. Nice! Grab one of these guys, I think. And we'll shove that directly onto there like this. Yes. However, it is not going to be anywhere near that big. We're going to go with a 37mm gun. There we go. The length of the rounds is actually going to be quite big. And that means penetration of 42 millimeters. Yeah, I mean, that's... I mean, it's weird. Don't get me wrong. It is a bit weird. But... Um, will it work? Yeah, I think so. So... Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. So these are going to be like our little handles. We're going to go ahead and grab this guy, and we're going to shove it back on there like this. And there we go. So that's going to be our gun. How weird is this for a World War One tank? It's very, very strange. Anyway, let's go to mobility real quick. We'll go to engine, we'll go to vents, and we'll actually start putting some vents on the front end. I'm actually going to do one right there, just like that, and then we're going to do two right next to each other. So those guys are going to go in there, and we're going to push them through each other, and that looks fine. I'm then going to go ahead and attach one vent, actually probably two, up here like this, and that looks very strange, very, very weird. Um, as for exhausts and stuff like that, these ones honestly look pretty good for it. So we're going to go ahead and shove these guys probably right here? I don't know. Yeah, sure, let's go with that. We can then flip this one over, and they are mounted into each other. That just looks very weird. I don't know how to feel about this one. Uh, I might actually extend them, make them way bigger, and then push them backwards. There we go. I don't know, World War One stuff just looked weird, so I think I'm happy with that. Anyway, uh, we need an actual uh, gunner's sight on this thing as well. So I think we're going to go and extend this guy upwards a little bit. Just like that, pretty much. Yep. I'm going to angle it forwards just like this. We're going to have to put the gun back, don't worry about that too much. Let's go to crew, view ports, gunner's sights, here we go. Make this real small and shove it right there. Lovely! Yes, now we can actually shoot the gun, I think. Excellent! Uh, with that being said, we now need some actual ammunition for the gun. So let's go ahead and grab some of that. And we'll actually shove it where the engine is, pretty much. That is a lot of rounds. That is a lot of rounds! Um, let's drop this down to there. There we go. I want it to be as quick as possible at reloading. 1.85 seconds, that's not terrible. And... That's good. All right, cool. So we're going to give it more basket space, which actually means we fit the space requirements. That is insane. I didn't think we would. That's actually crazy. Nice. I'm really happy about that. 
Um, we're not going to add any extra armor to this thing, I don't think. We currently weigh 8 tons. Let's get rid of a bunch of fuel, because we don't need all of it. Here we go, 100. The engine itself is probably already big enough, to be honest. I'm going to make this maybe 2. Yep, there we go. And, hang on, let's make it 2. That's good, go. Yeah, so it moves pretty decently well. It looks ugly as, and the gun turns very slowly. Let's shoot our friend. Okay, it takes about three seconds to reload. That's not amazing, but it does work. Okay, so, um, I'm now thinking we actually make these tracks a little bit skinnier. So let's bring it down to 300 instead of 520. And then we have to go through each of these and make them skinnier. So, whoa, no! Undo. Eh, undo again. Hey, there we go, that's lucky. Uh, I want to get rid of one of these. That's good. I want to get rid of one of these. Also pretty good, but it doesn't actually quite fit. There we go, get rid of one of these, and make that oh, actually fatter. There we go, all right, cool. So that is our tank. I've made it a lot skinnier on those guys. That's awesome. All right, next thing we are actually going to do is uh, go to livery. We're going to give it some sort of livery. I'm going to have my tanks be um, all a little bit red. Yeah, all like a, a little bit red. So we're going to do this. The hue is staying like that. Roughness, sure. Metallicness, yes. Scale, doesn't matter. Condition, pretty good. Grime, a little bit. Okay, so uh, saturation actually has to come down. And I think that is the sort of color we're going to go for on all of our tanks. It seems weird. It's kind of browny, but that, that's fine. Um, and yeah, I think that's cool. So... There is one thing that this is missing, and it is actually a logo. So I'm going to go try and find a logo to put on this. And there it is. Our FT logo is going to go on the side of this thing. It is Frantic Tanks, obviously. Uh, it does seem a little bit taller than it should be here, which, you know, I didn't design it like that. But um, we're going to go and shove this on the back end like this. And I think the best way of doing it so it's not on the inside is to do this. Good. So that's our logo. Realistically, it should be like that. So we're going to keep it like that. And we're actually going to shove it here as well. FT. Nice. I mean, it looks a little bit weird. It doesn't look like a normal logo, but I think that's fine. I'm also just going to go and add a bunch of random decoration to this thing now to make it look a little bit nicer. But the main thing is already built. So let me do the decoration, and I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay, so I've added rivets uh, all over the place, which is kind of interesting. Uh, I've obviously added some lights. I've added some ladder things down the sides. We added some D-rings. I also added this bit at the bottom because I thought that looked cool. Um, one thing that I think this is missing, I did add these, but I think we might need uh, an actual trench crossing thing. I think we might actually need one of these. Otherwise, I don't know, we might not even get across the trenches, which clearly would be a really bad thing. But we're going to go ahead and do this. That seems good, and hopefully we will make it across. Anyway, let's save this as FTC, so Frantic Tank Company, World War One, light. There we go, so that is that is our first tank. What do you guys think of it? It, it obviously is a bit weird. <laughs> it, it looks a bit weird. Um, but I didn't want it to look like anything else that I've seen before. So I took a tractor, and I added a gun. That is essentially all this is. It's a tractor with a gun. Um, so, let's go ahead and take this into a battle. Although, actually, should we give it a little bit of... Let's give it a tiny bit of armor. So, we've got these front faces right here. Um, all the way down to there, which I guess could do with a little bit. So, let's bring this up to 20. That's fine. We obviously need to armor this bit up as well. We'll make that bit actually more than 20, 25. Uh, and currently, this thing only weighs 7 tons. It's big for 7 tons. It is. Um, but yeah, I think that's good. Nice. So let's go ahead and save this. Again, there we go. And I guess we're just going to go ahead and take it into a battle. Alright guys, here we are. We are missing a Commander's Coupla. I knew I was missing something. So let's go ahead and attach a Commander's Coupla in here. It's actually just going to go in the floor, which seems weird, but there you go. Uh, and now we have a Commander. Very good. Alright, here we go. So hopefully this thing is light enough to go through any puddles. Uh, hopefully it is long enough to go over the trenches, because I hope it is. And hopefully it's armored enough to take a few hits, even if not too many. But this seems to be driving better than anything else um, I've ever really had on this map. That's crazy. 
One of them's already destroyed an AT gun. Awesome. Yeah, this is working out. Nice. Oh, another one has just taken out another AT gun. That is awesome. Yeah, so at least our little gun can take out AT guns. I'm not sure how well it's going to take out actual actual tanks or anything like that. It is a 37mm gun. It's got a pretty decent pen on it. 42 millimeters. Another AT gun has just been killed. So, yeah, I, I feel like it will go through World War I tank armor. I think so, anyway. Um, we need to try and get across here without dying. I don't know how this is going to go. First tank is actually across. He's already got across. That's fantastic. It did use these, but we made it across. Nice. Is that guy going to do the same thing, or is he going to miss? He missed. He missed, but... Made it out the other side. That's amazing. All right, keep going. So I'm going to try and not edit this piece down very much. Uh, just because I want you guys to see everything that happens here. Whether we get stuck or not, etc, etc. Uh, luckily, this guy in front of me is actually taking the right route. So that's good. That guy seems to be stuck a little bit. That's okay, though. This guy's coming across. What are you shooting at? He just took a shot at something over there on the right. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, we've got enemies! Enemy tanks are in! Okay, let's try and deal with these. Here we go. Uh-oh. This might be a challenge. This... Oh, I died. My tank actually just got killed. Oh, no. I don't know whether we can kill these tanks. I don't know whether we can. We might need a be Oh, that one died. Cool. We might need a slightly better gun. Possibly. No, oh, that guy died as well. Okay, cool. As long as you aim correctly... You can kill him. As long as you aim correctly. Come on, just keep firing. We have loads of rounds. Don't worry about that too much. I don't know how this guy isn't dead. We've been getting through his armor every shot. Every single one of these shots is going through his armor. Oh, not every single one. These ones aren't, but... The previous ones were... As if he's not dead. There we go. There we go. Those ones are going through. Those ones are going through, but he's not dying. He's on fire now. All right, I'm going to say he's dead. Unless he was dead the entire time. <laughs> Imagine. Anyway, we've got six tanks left. I'm not going to change the gun just yet. I'm going to try and ram this guy so he goes across. Not sure how well that'll work, but let's see. Here we go. Our little tractor tank is... Doing all right. All right, okay, so we've got it across. Hey, nice. That's good. I wish we could add tow ropes and stuff like that in this game. That'd be really cool. Anyway, we're across, and we're continuing in. This is awesome. I might actually have to start shooting these guys as well. Otherwise, we might have issues. All right, that's too high. Oh, that guy died. Nice. Yeah, I feel like I can actually aim at decent places. Why would you even drive like that? <laughs> Of all the things to do, why would you drive into that thing? Oh, go across the... Just go across the planks. What are you doing? The AI in this game is, is against us. It is. It's just, it's just against us. Look at it. It's gone to there to try and get across, which it's going to get stuck. It just fell straight in. It just fell straight in there. Unbelievable. Uh-oh. I'm worried we're going to get hit by artillery. Oh, that one seemed to hurt us, but we're okay. We are okay for now. So, there are two enemy tanks remaining. I'm not sure where they are. They don't seem to have came onto the battlefield properly. So, we're just going to go ahead and continue across a little bit. There's an AT gun right there. It just tried to shoot me. There we go. We killed it. We could kill AT guns in one shot. That's really good. Oh, that was close. We need to get out of here before we get hit by artillery. Keep going. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. So, it is a bit of a struggle. The fact that there is artillery coming in is also a bit of an issue. Uh, but hopefully we're going to be fine. Yeah, so they've just fired theirs. I think we're actually likely to get hit by our own. Because we're, we're in the location where we would get hit by our own artillery. Is that AT gun dead? Looks like it is. All right, we're going to go around here. We're going to squeeze through here. Yes, the hedgehogs will not stop us. We're too strong for the hedgehogs. And we're going to continue across this. These planks are so, you know, it's so lucky that they're here. 
because my tanks, they love them. <laughs> but yeah, it's working out. We still have 67 AP rounds left, and that is more than enough to take on the rest of the, uh, the rest of the enemy. Fortunately, that is a good thing. Oh no. Okay, now there is more enemies. <laughs> they just spawned in five more. We haven't even finished taking out the other ones yet. Hopefully my tanks in the background will be able to take these guys out. I don't know which ones are the, the new ones. Probably that one. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, let's try and shoot that guy. Before he kills me. There we go, nice. Alright, luckily these guys are like one shots, which is awesome. But I think to a T14... Uh, we are a one-shot as well, so if we get hit, we die. I need to make sure we don't. Oh, this is a sloppy bit of ground. Alright, I'm just going to continue across there. So there's an enemy right here. Alright, luckily I can one-shot these guys. There's another one there, and there's another one there, and there's another one there. Oh my, they're everywhere. They are everywhere! Is that guy alive? No. I don't, I don't think... So. What? What just shot me? Uh oh. Uh oh, this guy's actually landing shots on me. That's really bad. Oh! I need my guys to hit him in the turret. Yes, alright, cool, I killed him. That is so lucky. We got hit in the. In the our commander died. <laughs> of all the people, it was the guy that we decided to actually give a place last. That's funny. Alright, there's an enemy. He might already be dead. I think that guy's dead. Okay, that guy is dead as well. Alright, and is this guy dead? They're all dead. Alright, cool. I'm going to continue in. And I think I'm just going to continue and try and finish the mission. I'm just going to shoot these artillery pieces. And they should die. Alright, luckily my tank is powerful enough to drive up hills. Which, um, in the past, that has been the thing that has ruined me in this scenario. Not being able to drive up hills is a massive issue. Is that guy alive? No, he's not. All right, cool. So I'm just going to drive around back here, shoot all of the artillery pieces, and hopefully win the game. I can't aim down. Well, that sucks. All right, here we go. Nice, that guy's dead. Excellent. Let's continue along the line and shoot the rest of them. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice. So, our light World War I tank has actually been successful and totally wins. That is amazing. I think that down there is one of the enemy tanks that never got to fire. That is so good. So, so good. Anyway, uh, I think for now, I'm going to end this video here. Let me know if you guys are going to enjoy this series, because I think I will. Um, and yeah, we've got an actual challenge. Also, look at the amount of bands on that gun. This tank killed so many enemies. That's crazy. Anyway, for now, I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.